Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed that short footage clips that I showed you there. I just want to share for you, you know, moments that I found really, really entertaining in Scum in the first four days that I tested this game again. And yes, driving is absolutely awesome. It wasn't awesome when the game started, but the driving is really, really awesome now, depending on your driving skill. I, f I felt like a rally driver, you know, going through those gravel roads. Um, I just stuffed around, killed different characters, tested different things where where we basically put our vehicle in the water is I just wanted to see what it was capable of on certain angles, okay? But I just had fun with everything. The, the weather is absolutely awesome. So driving is awesome. Weather is awesome. Immersion is awesome. And then, you know, the biggest... The biggest reason for this series is to show you guys everything there is to experience in this game. And then secondly, for me to write everything in my notepad so that I can create the ultimate server for us. Okay, that we can all enjoy. And I'm going to fix all the multiplayer problems. I know what the problems are on um, modded servers or on official servers at the moment. We're going to crush all those problems, make it as immersive as as possible as anti-zerg as possible and you know just as fun as possible for everyone but again like always you know just pushing that pve element up a bit because it does lack in most games but in any case to get back to the ultimate single player guide for scum today we are going to show you how to craft ammo on day one okay these are very short sessions that i'm having you can basically do this with one long session in one day. So what we have done is we found the draw press, okay? And we've got, according to me, we've got everything that we need to craft the ammo, okay? So all I'm gonna do now is it's in my vicinity so I can use it. And now I can craft all the ammo, okay? So there we go. We can craft the nine more ammo. We just want to make sure we're on nine more ammo. And now we craft it. Yo, that's quick. That is quick, man. Five bullets. Okay, okay, okay. So every lead plate, I'm just getting five. I'm just using five on there. Okay, and I'm just using 10% of my toolbox. So I can create 50 bullets with this and I can create 20 bullets with one lead pipe. Okay, that's very, very important. And then my gunpowder disappeared quite quickly. Okay, so it's the scrap metal, guys. It's the scrap metal that's the problem here. Oh, and I like those boots. I definitely like those boots. No, 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 what? No, not your socks, your boots, but Yeah, let's take that, those boots. I like those boots. Um, flint and steel. Okay, yeah, and I want to... The, the wire cutters are quite important, guys. The wire cutters are quite important. I don't really think the wire cutters were important, okay? But they are. If you shoot a, a puppet, you know, the crazy puppet, that wants to blow you up. If you shoot him, you can you can try and you know disarm the C4. And that sounds like a really, really good idea. So yeah, I'm getting another scrap metal. So we can just go and craft again. There we go. We can craft 10 more bullets. Okay, so so we should we should be able to craft about 20 bullets look at this weather boys look at this weather this weather is absolutely freaking awesome man this weather is so freaking cool yeah 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 come let's go let's go And yes, guys, a lot of these times the puppets don't really have anything that you want. But remember, every time you loot and these items appear around you, that gives you awareness, okay? Now, some people will chop up trees forever or, you know, chop every puppet up. But we are still immersing ourselves. 
we are not doing anything that's you know way overboard or you know really desperate um to get that awareness up but it's very important for us to loot you know to loot everything um, when we can and we're just ch testing if that's if that is seen as one big object and now we just want more we just want more scrap metal mm -hmm. some cool glasses let's see what that looks like let me just put go into combat mode oh yeah baby okay okay now unfortunately there isn't a car around us but that should not really stop us to get any scrap metal I'm sure we'll be able to get more scrap metal why did I just pick up another axe that one's 86 that's 173 okay I'll keep the one with better durability and there's more scrap metal okay but we don't want to run up and down that's not that's not what we're really interested in here and there's more scrap metal okay so we're gonna just put that scrap metal in there okay and now we can use now we can utilize um this that's gonna run out this is of course gonna run out probably probably before our gunpowder i'm not sure but i'm guessing so i am guessing so okay so here we go we're at the draw press let's craft it again and if you want to craft exactly what you crafted last time guys just alt c and you'll craft exactly what you crafted last time okay now i just want to see what does my gunpowder look like okay no no everything is fine everything is fine no no everything is not fine what are we missing now oh that's bolts man those are bolts damn it that isn't strap metal that's bolts buddy okay let's just pick up our bullets okay so of course we can stack these we can stack them okay and now now this is where things get quite difficult inventory wise because now we're going to have to choose we know this is the weapon that we always want to use but we know the axe is awesome for cutting up stuff and everything so the axe is always useful and uh, no i'm not going to eat mushrooms i'm not going to eat mushrooms Yeah, I'll take a vitamin pill. Let's eat the vitamin pill. I'm healthy. The thing is, I don't want to drop the toolbox. I really, really don't want to drop the toolbox. So what I'm thinking is if I do it like this, let's just try and do some minor inventory management here. So if, okay, put that in there. So if I put that in my hands, I'm going to have to holster it at some point. I'm going to have to holster it at some point. Okay, that's fine, boys. But here we go. This is what the video is about. Okay, so there's our gun. Okay, now it's on single shot, but you say I can't load the round. Are you telling me I can't load a round into this gun? Nine more ammunition. Check ammo. Zero. Yeah, I've got zero ammo inside. That is weird, guys.
9 times 39, do you really want to tell me it is based on the Russian round, but with an expanded neck to accommodate a 9mm 0.56 caliber bullet used in a AS Val. Oh my word, boys. That's why I looked so carefully through this. Did I really miss a 9mm round? No man, how could I have missed a 9 more round? Because there's the freaking 9 more round. There it is, there on its own. There on its literal own up there. Okay, well, I my only purpose was to show you. Um, Yeah, my only purpose, guys, was to show you that you can use it and that you can craft ammo, okay? We just made a very, very new mistake there, okay? Right up there it is. Right up there is the ammo. But we're going to get that ammo, boys. Before we end this episode, we are going to get the ammo that we need, okay? I really don't care where we go. I'm going to go... Southwest. South. Southwest. Let's go. A boar just a boar just hit me, boys. A boar just hit me into Kingdom Come. A boar just hit me into Kingdom Come, and why haven't I got those quick slots activated? Why haven't I got those quick slots activated? A boar just came running at me, boys. I don't know if I gave it a heart attack or something, but goodness gracious, that was hard. The, the AI doesn't do enough damage for me, but goodness gracious, did that boar stuff me up. Like, I think that boar did more damage to me than a bear would do to me. Sorry that, sorry that you guys missed that, but um, I'm trying to make the video shorter. But, yeah, I'll try and keep my instant replay on next time. Um, I thought I was being careful. But he just, he just ran through the trees. I heard something. I thought it was a deer. And he just came running straight at me. Slammed me right off my feet for 25 damage. Goodness gracious me. Some of phase 2. One time. He hit me into phase 2 immediately. There he is. There's the dangerous bugger. And I was just focusing on getting to a puppet because we picked up the sledgehammer. And I know I told you guys the pickaxe is very slow. But when it comes to a weapon that's slow, I want the weapon to do the maximum amount of damage. And when it comes to the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer definitely has longer reach than the club and the axe. And it can do a lot more damage. Okay. At least I know if this pig, if this boar attacks me again, it's not going to kill me. But I am quite surprised. You know, my guy's suffering. That boar, boar stuffed up his leg big time. I'm set. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I'll keep the instant replay on next time, guys. Where I'm just cutting out the content that you guys don't want to see. But that was a surprise. That was really, really a big surprise. A bear, a bear, if a bear tackles you, you don't even go below 80% below health. And that's why I thought, you know, the PvE damage numbers needs to be up to big time. But goodness gracious me, did that thing stuff me up. Holy cannoli. That was bad, man. Yo, let's cut that into rags, boys. Ah, we've got a vehicle repair kit there. I really, really want to get a vehicle so that we can get across the map as fast as possible. But that, okay, okay, so we know there's a vehicle repair kit here. That's really, really cool. So I'm just going to take that and that, that, that's fine, that's fine. And we've got the, got the vehicle repair kit. Okay, that was just a test. That was a blonde moment that you guys will probably remember for a very long time. 
But I don't mind if you guys remember stuff like that. It's 100%. If you're going to laugh at someone, you can laugh at me. And now I just want to see how big this thing is. I just want to see how big this thing is. This thing is very, very big. So if I put this on the ground, I can turn you. I can turn you like that. Um, you can't go in like that. I don't need the vitamins anymore. Yeah, um, I don't need medicine. I'm I'm very healthy. I don't really need medicine, so we can put that there. We can put that there, and then we can put the gun in here now. And then we can put the gunpowder in, which is quite important. And the rest of the stuff I don't really care about. So we've got a car repair kit and a toolbox. That is an awesome setup, boys. That is an awesome setup. But like I say, I am focusing on making these episodes as short as possible at the moment. So all I want to do now, I'm not going to hurt myself any more than what I need to. But I know there's a drill in here, because we saw a drill when we were in here. We just forgot about it. How's our water doing? Our water can, our water can take a touch up. Just two little sips quickly. Again, guys, when you eat something, okay, hold control over it and see what it's giving you, like fat or saturated fat or whatever. And don't go over, don't go overboard. I already, I already took a, a whiz. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. I already took a whiz. So I don't need to worry about the whiz, but I do need to worry about the scrap metal that's there. And then I just need to remember where that drill is. Because I missed the draw last time. I definitely missed the draw last time. Parking sensor. <sighs> that is important. Goodness gracious me, that's important, boys. The lock is not so important. That, I don't know. And it's, it's big as well. Or no, I think it just weighs a little bit more. I think it just weighs a little. No, it doesn't weigh more. Okay, well. Let's forget about that. Um, but we have to gonna we have, we're gonna have to put something down. We're going to have to put something down. And again, the wire cutters. Yeah, uh, okay, stuff the wire cup cutters. Let's get the scrap metal. And we're gonna to end this episode. I showed you how quickly you can craft um, ammunition. Okay, in one basically in one long um, session. And now I'm going to show you how to create the 9 more ammo. Okay, I can't believe I made that mistake. That was a really, really bra big brain fart there. But here we go. And we're going to go crafting. And we're going to go that ammo, the 9 more ammo. And we're going to craft the 9 more ammo. Can't believe they didn't just put everything here. But in any case. But in any case. So... Yeah, that scrap metal is gone, and now... Um, we can put the gun in our hand. And now, boys, we can, we can load it with one bullet. Okay, now we can load it with one bullet. And now, here's the hold ADS. This is now the hold ADS function, okay? And then we can just hold our breath in to steady our aim. So let's see if we can find something. Okay. Now, now we can hurt an animal. <laughs> now we can hurt an animal, boys. Instead of going for a puppet. Why do you boys say we get some payback? Huh? What do you guys think about some payback?
Holy shit, boys. We just killed a bird with our first shot. Yeah, just used one shot out of the five that we crafted. Pick up a chop. Well, bird is a bird, boys. Meat is meat. Can you believe? Check all those feathers. Can you believe it? Guts. Skin. Uh, chop. Okay, I think the boar got away from us, guys. But at least the bird didn't get away from us. At least the bird didn't get away from us. Check. Make meat, fish bait, eat, eat all. Um, chow drumsticks. No, no, we're going to eat this. We're going to eat this. We're going to eat this. We are going to eat this. Put that in there. Now we have to think, 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 think. Uh, we want the food. We want the food. That was a great shot, guys. That was an absolutely awesome shot, man. Yeah. Okay, boys. To end this episode, we are going to loot an airdrop. I didn't even see the airdrop. I really, I didn't see the airdrop. I wanted to see where I wanted to go next because I thought, okay, let's, if we go, if, are we going to go to the, you know, to this location and uh, the bridge there or that dangerous location? I don't want to go to the airfield yet. So I thought, let's go to the town. And it's, then I saw that. I missed the notification. I definitely missed the notification, boys. So let's see how much time is left here. Let's see how much time is left here to end this episode on a high. At least we can use our bobby pins now, but we are going to need to create more bobby pins. We can, we, we've got five chances to open this lock. Our thievery is quite good, but we've got five chances, so we won't even be able to open everything. We won't even be able to do anything, and I'm just going to take a screenshot here quickly. Okay. Anyone in here? 14 minutes. Okay, okay, we're a bit out of time. Now we have to pick the lock. Okay, um, let's see, a space bar and then we start. So we move the mouse and we hold F in. Move the mouse and hold F in. There we go. That's lock one. That's the first one. Weapon cleaning kit. Bro, I don't have inventory space for that. I don't have inventory space for that. There we go. At least we're not wasting our bobby pins, boys. Whoa, winter ghillie suit bottom. Heck yes. Heck yes. Heck yes. Please. Whatever that is. That is cool. Okay. Now we need to think fast. And this is giving us a lot more inventory space. So now we need to think fast. We must. We need three. Take our bobby pin. That's one. Two. Three. And then the crafting. We have to create the bobby. The lock picks quickly. One. Two. Three. Okay, and now we have to, it's in our vicinity so we can use it, let's go. There we go. Thievery skill boys, thievery skill. Goodness freaking gracious me, draw, construction gloves, electronic tools. These are some fancy stuff boys, these are some fancy stuff but some... Electrician tools, goodness gracious me. How big are you? How big are you? Oh my word, you're big. Goodness gracious, you're big. You are big, and I think you're big as well, eh? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's not waste any time. Oh, we've got we've got plenty of time left, boys. 
We've got plenty of time left. There we go. Mm. E mm -mm -mm. More graphic sites. UMP. 0.45 ammo. Toolbox. I don't need you anymore. There we go. I don't need you anymore. I don't need you anymore. And we're getting the max out of this experience, guys. We're getting the max out of this experience. Okay, it's not that way. It's this way. Okay. Put it up. No. Put it down. There we go. Whew. So we used all our screwdrivers. We used all our screwdriver uses perfectly. We've got a car battery that weighs a ton. But it could charge a car. And now we have to choose again. No, this, no, this battery. Uh-uh. No. Okay, boys, we just left that one, okay? Unfortunately, we, we can't because we haven't got any screwdriver uses left. But that's it, boys. In the next episode, we're going to take on this town. I've got a sledgehammer. I'm feeling confident, okay? We're going to clear this town. This town doesn't have megs. And I'm going to prove to you guys that um, with the build that we have created, look at those pants. Look at those pants, man. Now I'm starting to look freaking awesome. Okay. Um, feel very bad that we don't know what's in that last one. But yes. Thank you for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Where we are going to take on the biggest town on the map. Okay, clear it out, loot it, hopefully get a much better backpack, hopefully get a lot better clothing. So, cheers guys, this game's awesome.